connect various ports to this block right so let's say uh, we consider this two tires as a rear tire and we connect this axle and this axle is going to be connected with uh, let's say a gear system so we i'm going to use a simple gear and this is a simple gear where uh, the output of the gearbox or is connected to this part and there will be a, some uh, input coming from let's say the shaft of the motor right which will be connected to the uh, to this gearbox now the rear axle is connected with the motor uh, we need to connect the front axle of uh, the front wheels and uh, we need to now apply the normal force to the rear part which is nr connected to n over here and this n also connected with this one and and front is connected with this part and the front is connected with this so once we have uh, the things ready what we can do actually is we can assign uh, as you have seen uh, there are multiple parameters to this block we can assign wind velocity uh, to this block on on the top of the block over here let's say we we want to create a constant wind velocity uh, the beta angle which also can be assigned let's say the vehicle is moving at uh, some inclination angle that also can be assigned and there is another uh, output which is a vehicle velocity right so this is vehicle velocity related uh, input now uh, once we have the uh, four wheels along with the vehicle body and the gearbox we can select all the parts and we can actually create a subsystem so this is going to be a subsystem for the vehicle right so we can add them uh, to a subsystem and we can see that how how instead of having multiple number of blocks we can enter them into one common block so if i right click and if i see that i can uh, actually enter this into a subsystem and by create a subsystem so this is how i have created a subsystem and now there are some inputs and output available for the vehicle so this subsystem i can name it as the vehicle body or let's say the vehicle and rest of the things i'm going to connect uh, to this subsystem right so if you double click you can open it up and you can see where are these ports right so there are some ports related to slip uh, if you are uh, not interested to simulate the slip of the tire uh, as of now you can uh, simply keep it disconnected uh, if you do not want to have uh, any wind velocity you can uh, just simply keep it disconnected so right now uh, let's go back to the out of the subsystem and here is a complete vehicle body along with the four wheels and the gearbox right the next part is the motor right and let me choose a very simple motor which is a brush type dc motor right so this is uh, a brush type dc motor where uh, you can see there is an electrical and mechanical combination over here where r stands for the rotor and c for uh, the casing and this is a mechanical part which is green and the blue one is the electrical part where you need to connect the output of the power converter to this motor terminals right so let's connect the motor to the first uh, this connector is number 6 here you can see so i'm going to connect this to number 6 and let's say this is connect connected to connection 6 right so we have now connected the shaft of the motor to the gearbox over here right so this is a simple gearbox and we have connected the shaft of the motor to the gearbox that is the very first thing uh, we are going to do